Hey guys, how are y'all doing today? It's your friend Matt here again, and welcome back to another Borderlands 2 video. Today we have another unique weapons guide. This unique weapons guide is a, for a highly requested weapon, which is the unique submachine gun known as the Lasco. And I believe it's pronounced the Lasco. If it's not the Lasco, it must be the Lasca, because I'm pretty sure that you don't pronounce the X at the end, but if you are if you are French and you know how to pronounce this word, please feel free to tell me in the comment section below. I don't mind y'all. Anyways, the way to get the Lasco is very simple. Well, all you have to do is go to Frostburn Canyon, just follow the follow the path that I took right there, and the Lasco will be submerged in this uh, little pool of water right here. And there's nothing, there's no other requirements in order to get this weapon. All you have to do is have Frostburn Canyon unlocked. Now I will warn you that in order to get a level 50 version of this weapon, I believe you have to have Playthrough 2.5 unlocked. And I believe the way this works is, um, I don't know how to really describe it. I'll give you guys an example. For instance, if you're in Playthrough. Uh, one and you unlock Frostburn Canyon at level 7 every time you go back to get the last coat It will be level 7 in that playthrough and in order to get a better version of it You need to unlock the next playthrough and then play through 2.5 for the level 50 version I'm pretty sure that how it's, that's how it works and I also showed you guys a clip of me doing the farming run again I just wanted to show you guys that you can get this as many times as you want You can go back get it whenever you want and it's a guaranteed spawn there in the pool every single time as far as I know and as far as everybody else in the Borderlands 2 community says about this weapon, of course, a lot of people have already done a lot of research about this weapon, and a lot of people have made a lot of videos about it. I'm just doing it because a lot of people have requested it. Anyways, before I started killing these pirates here, I showed you, I showed you guys a bit of a relic I was using, and you couldn't really see it because I, I put the overlay of the weapon stats and the weapon image uh, over it, so you guys couldn't really see it, but I'll explain it. The relic that I'm using right now is a Dal relic. It is, a, I believe, it's an Allegiance relic, and what it does, it gives me minus 52% Dal recoil, and it also gives me minus 52% Dal burst delay. So it makes Dal weapons much better than they actually are. Not, not huge, significant change, but it is definitely better. So the last call that I'm using right now is with this relic. And keep in mind, if you get another relic and don't use that relic, it will be slightly less good than what it's doing in the footage right now because the burst delay is shortened by a ton and the recoil is is very very little to none anyways let's read out the borderlands wiki now about this weapon give you guys a good understanding about it it's a uh, it's a very interesting weapon it has a lot of background information anyways the lasco is a unique submachine gun manufactured by doll as i said before the lasco can be found submerged in a shallow pool in frostburn canyon Special weapon effects, the red text says the gun of the bulls, which is a uh, reference to what the Lasco is named after, which is a system of caves in France. It has a modified Dal burst fire module. It fires 13 round bursts that leave a bullet pattern similar to the Lasco cave paintings in France. Can never carry an elemental effect and always spawns with a double projectile mod and a plus 100% recoil reduction, which is huge, and it makes the weapon so much better than it would be without those couple of features. Usage and description, this SMG functions almost the same as the Anarchy SMG of Borderlands 1. For those of you who don't know or haven't played Borderlands 1, the Anarchy was a version of submachine guns that were extremely powerful, some of the strongest weapons in the game, and the Lasco is very similar to those in that way. And the tips provided for the Anarchy apply to the Lasco too. The fire pattern makes it ineffective at medium or long range, but the double projectile barrel mod and high rate of fire make it excel at close range. It can surpass many shotguns in terms of damage per second because of its high fire rate, magazine size, and better reload times. The last code is it covered in images of primitive cave drawings. If you guys look at the skin of the weapon, it's it's very similar to the actual Lasco caves in France. Anyways, in the gameplay right now, I'm using the Beast Shield with this weapon. A lot of people think this is good for fighting raid bosses, but it definitely is better than most other weapons in terms of damage projection of the, with the Beast Shield and everything like that. But honestly, there are a lot of other better raid boss fighting weapons like the Sandhawk, which is another Dell SMG, except it's just so much better fighting, let's say, Pyro Pete than Lasco would actually do. Lasco is definitely very powerful against regular enemies and using the Beast Shield against these kind of guys. Like what I'm doing in the footage right now is definitely just absolutely devastates any kind of uh, normal enemy, but in terms of raid boss fightings, the Sandhawk beats this because it's just it just works in a way that's good for fighting raid bosses. The Lasco is very good against fighting normal enemies. Anyways, that's all I really got to say about this weapon. I hope you guys enjoyed this highly requested unique weapons guide. Other than that, I want to thank you guys for watching the video once again, and I'll be seeing you guys for the next video. Goodbye.